What up fam, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing well. Yes, got the same sweater again. It's 50 degrees out here. And from the intro, guys, you saw me using my thermal heat gun to scan the temperature off my headers. And yes, it was pretty damn hot, over 300 degrees Fahrenheit. I just came back from a drive. So there's a lot of heavy underhood temps right now. So today what I'm gonna be doing is yes, I finally broke down, we're gonna wrap the headers. And I said finally broke down because you hear a lot of conflicting opinions out there. Is it safe to wrap? Is it gonna catch on fire? Is it gonna make your pipes brittle? And I have found overwhelming evidence with reviews and feedback from a lot of close friends that that is untrue. So I am gonna do it for myself and definitely help decrease my underhood temps. You hear the opinions like, okay, is it going to make my pipes brittle or rot my pipes? The answer is no. Most of the headers now, they're pretty awesome stainless steel pipes, so you shouldn't have a issue with that. The only way you would make your pipes brittle is if you do the wrong overlap. Guys, you know, many companies have tested this stuff and the sweet spot is a quarter inch overlap when you're wrapping your headers. It allows for perfect scavenging of the exhaust to get the heat out of your tailpipe as quick as possible while not overheating the pipes on the inside, not keeping too much heat in to make it brittle. So the sweet spot is about a quarter inch overlap when you are wrapping your pipes. Anything more than that, I don't know, you know, I mean, you can run the risk of making your pipes brittle. So that's the end of that. Now, this is a company I went with. It's a company called Lead Art or L-E-D-A-U-T. Um, I got both of these rolls right here, 30 bucks. It is actually titanium wrap from crushed lava rock. Guys, definitely, I checked out the reviews really really good reviews on this product and for 30 dollars for 100 feet you can't go wrong they even give you a pair of gloves steel ties and they actually give you pretty damn good instructions i must say literally if you watch any ra uh, header wrapping video on youtube this instructions right here pretty much tells you the same damn thing just in obviously writing so things that you're gonna need I have my own gloves right here. I got my heat gun or temperature gun for the end. You're gonna need uh, needle nose pliers or some pliers. Uh, I have a spray bottle to soak the wrap with to make it more pliable when you're wrapping it. And definitely some eye protection. And guys, wear a freaking long sleeve shirt. I don't know what state you're in. Right now it's pretty decently cold in New York, but let's say it was 90 degrees, I would still have to wear a long sleeve shirt just in case any of these fibers and stuff fall from the wrap it'll probably you know it, there could be a possibility of itching so just be careful with that so now i gotta take off the skid plate from underneath the car and then we are gonna get into it all right guys so the skid plate is off these headers are hks headers and when you're wrapping well the first thing you want to do after you wet the wrap you don't have to over soak it that's the reason why i have a spray bottle so how you want to wrap is and ideally guys you don't want to be doing this stuff on your back you know i mean obviously i have no choice i'm not going to be taking off my headers but if you have your headers off before you put them on the car that would be cool i already had these headers on almost two years so how you want to wrap is you want to wrap from the collector which is here to the head all the way up there that's the direction you want to wrap it now what you want to do is the wrap is about two inches wide so you want to measure how much wrap you're possibly going to need in a circular motion all the way to the top where the head is after you measure that and you cut it to suit which i'm going to be showing you on a time lapse then what you want to do is you want to wrap around the pipe it's called priming the wrap so you're not struggling so what you can do in essence is you can pull the wrap tight because everything is already wrapped around so you're not fishing it through you get what i'm saying you'll see it on the time lapse exactly what i mean so once you wrap once you cut it to suit 
the proper length, you can wrap it around the pipe nice and loose. So now, while you're wrapping it, because most of the time, obviously, you're going to be by yourself and you're not going to have any help, you can pull the wrap tight as you go. And as I said before, it's a quarter inch overlap. And I forgot to mention that this wrap, this titanium wrap, can handle 1400 degrees Fahrenheit direct heat and about 2000 degrees radiant heat so I, i'm pretty sure i'll be covered i'm i'm, I'm pretty so good. guys as i said before the benefits of wrapping your headers will not only be scavenging the exhaust better but by containing all that heat in here it'll cause it to exit the car exit the tailpipe at a higher rate of speed causing more efficiency rather than losing it all over the place and creating some insane underhood temperatures All right, guys, so you see right there in that time lapse. So the first pipe is done. As you saw, what ended up happening was I didn't uh, prime enough of it. So I ended up having to feed and feed and feed and it just took more time. So when you actually prime it and loop it around beforehand, it helps. These uh, stainless steel ties they gave, they're actually not bad. They're pretty good. Once you have it fastened inside, you just take your needle nose, hold it, and just turn it like that, and it'll wrap around like a sardine can, just like this all the way up here. I'm trying not to touch my camera because of the jam. Hold on, I just wanna show you. So it'll wrap around just like that. It looks like a freaking sardine can, just like that. So, uh, so uh, in a nutshell, that's pretty much it. So now, once I'm finished wrapping this one and then the other two, then I'm gonna wrap here, this whole collector right here, and bring it somewhere like right around here. Oh, by the way, guys, just make sure, you know what I mean, your spray bottle, it's definitely awesome to have, so you could just keep soaking it, as you saw, like, you know, if any of the uh, pieces of the wrap gets dried or anything like that, just, just hit it a quick spray, just soak it down. All right, guys, cash money right here. First two pipes are done. And just remember, Guys, try to keep that quarter inch overlap. I know when you're going around a corner, the corner might be more than a quarter inch. Just try your best. Make sure you use your ties to uh, keep that bad boy tight. And while, yeah, I don't want to touch anything because my freaking, I don't have my gloves on. I just took them off. I got to put a new set on. When you're finished, just turn it as much, try to turn it against the grain as much as you can. It'll tighten it. And then put two, ties if you have to the good thing about these guys they gave me a lot they gave me a lot of long and short i still have another pack of uh steel ties that they gave me so that's pretty dope so now i'm about to do 
the small set, then the big collector. All right, guys, so it's pretty much finished. I really had to get creative with this side. It was a pain in the ass. I had to do like singles, doubles. It was very, very hard because there's very, very limited space in between here. So now all I got to finish is from here, right here to the collector. And that's really it. Uh, with one roll, you could pretty much do this entire thing. And I have two rolls, so I'll probably end up doing probably like my downpipe and the rest of the exhaust and stuff like that. But other than that, as I said, uh, this is sort of a pain in the ass when you have to do it on your back. Definitely. And keep in mind, it does fray a little bit, so you might want to put some tape on it and whatnot when you're doing it, but it can be done. So it came out pretty decent, actually pretty damn good. So definitely can't wait. Now, once I start it up, if there's a, the directions say they do have put like a wax layer on it to, uh, you know, to keep, preserve it, I guess. So that's probably gonna smell funny or, you know, as when I start the car and it tries to burn off. So just in case you have that concern, don't worry about it. All right, so I finally got done. That freaking collector was a pain in the ass because it has like ridiculous ridges and stuff like that. But it's pretty much finished. All right, start it up. I was talking about so that stuff all that stuff has to burn off and then it'll be straight all right so most of the smoke is burnt off I'm gonna scan exactly where I scanned before about two yep about almost like a hundred degrees less that's pretty cool I'll show you something. I can actually, like, my hand is like super, this car has been idling for 15 minutes, almost 20 minutes already at least. And I can literally, got these gloves. That's freaking, this shit normally, you can't even come near this shit. This shit will be piping hot. So the wrap is doing its job of holding that heat in to get it out of the tailpipe. And I'm not going to lie, this freaking header is whack to wrap. But anyway, definitely like, subscribe, definitely comment, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me today. And obviously, I showed you just a time lapse of, I think, one or two of the uh, these over here. The other side was a pain in the ass, but I hooked it up. Hooked it up. Anyway guys, and now, guess what? Now most of like, look what my hand is. Literally right here, bare hand. I can tap it. You cannot normally freaking tap that header if that car is running for at least even five minutes. So it's doing this thing. Now I gotta freaking wash my hands, oh man. Anyway guys, I'll talk to y'all soon. As I said before, guys, make sure you wear eyewear. Definitely wear a mask or something. Also, once you start the car, it's gonna smoke and smell for a good 50, maybe 10 to 15 minutes. But that's just a natural process. Other than that, I'll talk to y'all soon.